Hello everyone. Uh, in this short video, I'm going to talk about the new changes happened to the predict module in Power Automate uh, that impact on the uh, processing of uh, form uh, for the form processing for the text classification other. So let's look at that. So uh, as you see here, I have a flow here that uh, <clears throat> when we create a file in OneDrive, it's going to use the predict. So this is for about a month ago. So here, uh, as you see, I we, we had used to have a request payload and we need to put a code here to uh, identify the type of the file uh, that we have and also the file that we get from the OneDrive. Then we use the parse on JSON to actually to extract the, what we want. And then we use the concat to kind of uh, merge the information together. So about a month ago is changed. So that means that my previous Power Automate is the same. Is This one is working well. But from now, if I want to create a new form processing, I will have a predict like this. So the model is the same. Just uh, instead of the JSON payload, we have a document type. So you specify there and a document. Another interesting thing is about that is uh, actually when you're going to uh, uh, run it, let's, uh, I make it enable so we can turn it on and we are going to actually to run it to see that how it work. So here I'm using the previous one. So I use the previous run that I have and you will see that the difference happened from what we have from the previous run and this one. So this is a new one. Uh, I just want to show you the output of the predict that we have here. So if I click on that, it takes about a minute to load the information. So all of the JSON information becomes separated as a separate value here so the information that i need for that time was session title value and the session title confidence score so it's actually if i going and check it out on the edit one you will see that when you use the concat information here to create a one so i use a concat information and i able to see all of the information that was uh, in the json here so that's become much more easier compared to what we have here. Also here, if I want to run it, so uh, if I want to run it, just a minute, so the data from here. Okay, so you remember that what we get the output was like that, then we need to create a schema through that, and then we analyze the schema and we create something ourselves. So that's a bit totally different experience. It's much get easier. We are not, and we don't need the JSON one, so it's become really easy experience here. So just check it out. Also, it's the same for the text classification. In the next video, I will talk about the text classification and text analytics. They all have the same things. So just a small change happened and it's make it much easier. Thanks so much for watching this video.